should you charge an initial consultation fee? I'm Nina Kyle from, from Business Exponential, teaching business professionals how to make more money with fewer headaches. Well, one big headache, and it's come up with a client of mine this week, is that perennial back and forth with, should I char charge an initial consultation fee? And you got to weigh it back and forth. It's like those old-fashioned scales of justice. It tips a little this way. It tips a little that way. And you'll have a whole school of people who say, absolutely, you should charge an initial consultation fee. Stand in your value. Get the money. Show what you're worth. Don't even bother doing it for free. And then you have another school of thought that says, hey, it shows that you're a caring business professional. It's a way for people to get to know you. It's an introduction, but it does come with attracting a lot of DIYers and tire kickers and people who want a third and a fourth and a fifth opinion because they're searching for someone who's finally gonna agree with them. Well, I'll tell you, I, I will say that the vast majority of the business professionals I work with, when they charge an initial consultation fee, they are super excited and they never look back. But here are some, you know, there's an analysis here. There's a strategy here. It's not just one or the other. There may be a combination of things you can do together to make it work for you. And here are just a few of the things that I encourage my clients to think about. So number one is, do you have to do any advanced prep work for this consultation? Do you have to read documents? Do you have to go digging? Do you have to do research? That's your time and time is inventory. Another thing, especially for attorneys, is do you have a license that's on the line? For attorneys, if they consult with you for free, they may be conflicted out in dealing with somebody else who might actually pay them. A third thing is, if you are going to do a session for free, can you keep it discreet and time-bound? So it's not, ooh, all over the place, but you're really, really focused. And uh, following with that is, are you tracking the results you're getting from those free sessions? Finally, you want to look at what are, who, you know, for, of the people who come in and pay a consultation fee, who are they? The ones who pay without question, without hesitation, the nanosecond you send that little PayPal link or whatever it is to get paid, who are they? And maybe you want to find more of them. So in my own business, I use for my business coaching a combination of discrete time frame plus tracking to see whether or not it's actually turning into business for me. But that's, again, after strategy, after trial and error, uh, and after looking through to see what's the best result for my business. So if you want a, a sample of that, just to touch on it, you can go to my website at businessexponential.com forward slash laser call, and you can have that experience of what that's like and see whether or not that model is right for you and whether you'd like the support and strategy to put these kinds of consultations into your business in a way that makes your register ring. Again, I'm Nina Kyle from, from Business Exponential because you deserve to make more money with fewer headaches. Thanks for listening.